If those are Mikasa French countryside, then they're worth at least $30. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. Hello everyone, I had a couple of people ask me this week if I collect anything. I collect glass and ceramic pine trees and I recently found a really nice one on Poshmark for a great price and I just picked it up at my mailbox so I thought I'd unwrap it and show you. This is the latest addition to my pine tree collection. It's about 8 inches tall, solid glass. I love it and I can't wait to put it out for the holidays. Anyway, I'm here at Goodwill, ready to go in, excited to see what they have. Let's go thrifting! So I have to remember as I walk in to check the colour of the day. That's the colour tag that's 50% off. I'm going to grab a cart and the sign is right here and the colour of the day is blue. We're looking for blue tags. So in Las Vegas, it looks like the mask restriction has lifted a bit and only about half the people are wearing masks. So that's perfect. Hopefully you will be able to hear me much more clearly. We're in the metal section. This looks like a Pier 1 giraffe candle holder. He's really sweet, but he is $9.99, which is a bit spendy. I'm going to put him in my cart and check eBay sold for comps. These are cute little shelf sitters. There's a pear and an apple, and they're marked $3.99 each but they are blue tags, which means they're only $2. The apple's leaf is a little bit chipped, but for $2, I'll take them. This is the wood aisle. They have frames and signs and baskets and pegs. There's a sweet little puppy dog there. Nothing's really jumping out at me. Oh, there's a sunflower. It's a little welcome sign. Oh, unfortunately, it's got a massive chip on that bottom petal there. That's really a shame. That's weird. I'm not really sure what that... Here's maybe a wine holder, some salad bowls, tongs, more baskets. Oh, I think that's a cheese slicer, but it's missing its wire. This is the Christmas aisle. That looks like Fitz and Floyd, but it's not. Oh, I know Danny, the niche lady, has uh, some of these glass snowmen that she puts aside for Christmas but I know she said she didn't need any more. This is Yankee Candle. A lot of their things sell really well, but unfortunately not these uh, little votive holders. I'm seeing a group of Churchill candies, tins here. Oh, this one's Russell Stover. It's an English phone box. And there's an English post box here. These only sell for about $8 plus shipping each, so I'm going to leave these for someone else. It's just not worth my time for $8. Seeing some Corel plates here. Some of the rarer patterns uh, can bring in some good money. This is a tequila Patron metal mug. This doesn't sell for enough to wait, make it worth my time. I'm going to leave that.
I always check the metal trays, looking for Hammond Aluminium, Wendell August Forge, and uh, high quality uh, makers. Checking in the vases, it's quite nice. It's just a mass marketed Chinese piece. That's the same. Some milk glass. Ooh, this is a little vintage beehive vase. I like this particular one because it has a really detailed um, textured top, if you can see that. This will sell for about $15. Some crystal vases. Lots of clear glass. Oh, this is interesting. This is Field Crest. They do um, bathroom sets. I think this is part of a toothbrush holder and glass set. Now I'm in the cookware aisle and I see a Staub grill pan here. Really heavy cast iron. Let me see if I can grab this. Yep, super heavy. Seven ninety nine. There's another grill pan here. Wonder what brand this is. C E C G. Not familiar with this one. I'm going to have to look it up. These are emerald wear pans. I actually have the same set at home and I know they sell well. So I'm going to grab these, take what I need and resell the rest. I'm spotting a piece of lucite back here. It looks like a vintage lucite trivet. It has ferns and flowers. Really 70s, $5, I love it. Checking out these pans, because sometimes they're Nordic ware. Nordic ware sells quite well depending on the pattern. Um, this looks like a Pampered Chef brownie pan. The best Nordic well sellers are the themed cake pans, so I'm always looking for those. This is a dog cookie pan. They sell for maybe 10 to 15. And the same with this donut pan. I'm going to leave these. Checking through the coloring books and I'm seeing Lisa Frank here. These used to sell really, really well in new condition, but now they're maybe six or eight dollars on eBay. I'm gonna check through to see if they're used. See what else they have. Looking for superhero books, um, anything vintage. Let's see. It looks like a teacher has just donated all. Her, ooh, here's Garfield. Take that one. Um, yeah, a teacher has donated all her books. So many here. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, 
drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Doc McStuffins. My Little Pony. That's uh, Sophia the First. It's worth looking all these up on eBay just to see if there's any really desirable ones. But I think the only one I will be grabbing is the Garfield for sure. She's quite pretty, although she has a huge chip on her ear there. That's a shame. Bright candlesticks. Those are definitely modern, and they match this frog. <laughs> I think I looked at this piece last time I was here. Lots of glass as usual. Unfortunately, the clear glass doesn't sell well unless it's a really good round. But it's worth taking a look just in case. They just brought out a load of new stuff, so let's go look again. I just spotted these gorgeous glass dolphin wine glasses. They're absolutely stunning, $2 each. Still have their original tag. Yes, please. Look at these owls. It's a gray one and a green one. Oh, and look at this glass one behind. He's amazing. And then there's this really big glass dolphin here. He's $9.99, but he looks to be in great shape. He's lovely. So I'm going to take him and all the owls. You will not believe this. These are Tiffany and Company votive candle holders and they're only $2. Let me see if I can get the mark to focus here. It's hard to get the light right. Hold on. There we go. There we go. See it? Yay! Amazing! And look at this. It's a massive paperweight for $4. It's got a gorgeous swirl inside. It's really heavy. And I'm just seeing a big group coming around the corner here, so I have to get these into my cart quickly. Sorry about these big swing. really like the look of this. It's a wooden bowl. It appears to be carved. Unfortunately, though, it's just not very well done. The quality of the paint isn't very good, and it's just peeling off a bit. I'm going to leave it. Checking out the baskets. Some of these baskets do really well for me. People hang them on the wall in displays. This one's not anything special, though. No, no baskets today. Oh, that's cute. It's a watermelon. Just spotted uh, Peter Rabbit Melamine. 
um, dish set, but unless they're new in the box, they just don't bring enough to make it worth it. There's a Pooh Bear one. Yeah, look for those, but they need to be new in the box. Just having a quick look in the plastic aisle. Sometimes things that aren't supposed to be in the plastic aisle creep in. That's quite nice. I think this is a Target piece. Yeah, they're plastic too. This has a fire and light look to it, but it's not. It's made in Mexico. Ooh, I like this pink glass. I'm really attracted to pink glass, but I don't think this is original depression glass. I think it's uh, a reproduction. It's a piggy dish. He's interesting. A bit scary. Cook's Club. I'm not really familiar with that brand. Please stay tuned to the end of the video where I show you everything I picked up at Goodwill. If you're interested in purchasing anything from my haul, please contact me via email or on my Instagram. The details are in the description of my video. No, not really seeing anything in the dishware today. Ooh, this is, uh, yeah, Portugal, but it's got a big chip right there by my hand. That's a shame. Now I'm in the glassware, just having another look to see if they put anything else new out since the dolphins. Smikasa, it's just single glass, really looking for a set of four, ideally. Single glasses will sell, but with the high cost of shipping, it's always better to buy a set if you can. Not really seeing anything else. Oh, there's a set of pheasants here. There are four, but they don't really sell for enough to make it worth it. This is an acrylic USA honey pot. I really like these. They're really vintage, really fun, and are just a bit safer than glass. The honey dipper looks like it's in good shape. I'm going to grab that. This looks like a horse planter. Unfortunately, it's really chipped. A couple of the horses have missing ears. If those are Mikasa French countryside, then they're worth at least $30. Oh, they are, look, Mikasa F9000, French countryside, vintage candlesticks. Look at those. Somebody stuck a flower in the top, but those sell really quickly on eBay. I can get $30 plus shipping for the pair. It looks like somebody's donated their entire dolphin collection. There's so many pieces here. Unfortunately, they're not very high-end pieces. Just looking through to see if there's anything worth picking up. 
But I think the glass dolphin I found earlier was the best of it. I'm spotting a Mexican bird art creation here. These are really popular at the moment. The frame's in a bit of a rough state, but the feathers look good. The original paperwork's there on the back. It's $7.99. I'm definitely grabbing this. Just taking a quick look in the mugs. See if there's anything that catches my eye. Ooh, there's a set here of uh, animal silhouette mugs. Unfortunately, they're a bit worn and a bit chipped. I don't think I want to deal with that. These are quite a nice set. Now, I've got quite a lot of mugs at the moment. These are interesting. There's a whole huge bag of fridge magnets here. Oh gosh, it must be at least 50. Vintage magnets of all sorts. Here on my table is everything I purchased at the Goodwill, not including my cat, Bandit. Say hi, B. Okay, not for sale, NFS. NFS. First, we have the Lucite Trivet. I'm guessing it's from the 1970s. I paid $4.99 and I'm going to ask $15 on eBay. Next, we have this really cute glass owl paperweight. I paid $2.99 and I'm going to ask $12 to $15. Next, we have these two really cute little bobblehead owls. One's green, one's gray. I paid $1.99 and I'm going to ask $15 each. Next, we have a pair of Mikasa. They're F9000 French countryside candlesticks they're vintage and they're selling for about thirty dollars on ebay next i have a pair of these mexican feathercraft pictures one is framed one isn't they're made out of real bird feathers This one has a little bit of damage on the tail. Here's the second one. I paid $7.99 a piece. And I think I can get $20 to $25 each. Next, I found these amazing dolphin wine glasses. The dolphins are art glass. And they're built into the stem. They're Suffolk Studios, handmade in England. And they're actually selling on eBay for $50 a piece. Next, I have this really pretty cobalt blue um, honeycomb vase it's really intricately designed on the top i don't know if you can see that just sort of scallops and rings and it's a beautiful color i paid a dollar 99 and i expect to get about 15 dollars on ebay 
This is a honey jar with a honey dipper. It's made by Acrylic USA. And um, these don't sell for much on eBay. I think I'm going to keep it for my personal use. Paid $4.99. I just think it's really cool. And as I said before, much safer than glass. This is a really big and heavy clear glass paperweight with a lovely swirl in it. It's ever so heavy. I paid $4 for it and I expect to get about 30 on eBay. And this is a beautiful art glass dolphin. He's sort of an amethyst purple and uh, clear glass he's riding on a wave he was 9.99 i expect to get about 30 for him on ebay okay next we have a field crest water glass it's part of a bathroom set by field crest um, so it would be treated as a replacement piece for somebody I paid $1.99 and uh, they're listed on eBay for between $15 and $20. Next we have probably my best find of the day. These are Tiffany & Company Pine Cone Design Votive Candle Holders. I don't know if you can see the Tiffany & Company mark there. There it is. Again, $2 a piece. They're listing for about $30 a piece on eBay. I have this really cute little pair of shelf sitter fruits. There's a pear and an apple. They're in a little bit rough shape. Um, I think at one time the apple had his hands joined together but the loop either slipped out or he's missing one piece here and his little leaf is chipped. But I really like these. They're really popular at the moment. So I think I could probably get 20 for the pair on eBay. And last but not least, I found this massive bag of vintage fridge magnets. There's Disneyland, there's Pittsburgh Pirates, Balboa Island, all sorts of different states. I see Maryland, there's uh, Chesapeake Bay, there's SeaWorld. There's so many in there. There has to be at least 50. All sorts of different magnets. And the whole bag was just $2.99. That was such a great find. If you see something you're interested in purchasing, please do go ahead and contact me on uh, email or Instagram. My email is thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com and my Instagram is thrifting underscore Vegas. And you can also find that information in the description of my video. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed shopping along with me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.